Pauline, that's your man, Cosmic. Strictly Skills Care. My man, Zab Judah, is in the building. Super Zab. I keep, let me not mess that up. Mm -hmm. I don't want no problems. <laughs> So who's the loser? Who's who the loser that you're going to fight? I, I'm a predicting it's going to be yeah, a loss to him. I'm, I'm predicting it's going to be a loss to him. Who's the loser yes. of this fight? Um, Lewis. His last name is um Mag Magna Gaga. Something like yeah, because I can yeah, pronounce Magna Gaga. Yeah, I, yeah. I was going to let you do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Honest, yeah. It's I, not Lady Gaga. It's Magna Gaga. Okay, all right, okay, like okay. That, but, you know, his first name is Lewis, and I know it starts with an L, so that's mm -hmm. what we're giving out. He's from um, Honduras. Honduras. Yeah, you know what? But we gotta respect. The guy, you know what I'm saying, he's a Honduras champion. You know what I'm saying? He is, you know, coming over here to defeat Zab Super Judah. Mm -hmm. And you know, as a fighter, as a combatant of the sport, you gotta give him credit for just stepping through the ropes. I mean, I You love what you do, it's clear. Um, does it hurt your feelings when people are like, Oh, you should retire or why are you still boxing? How no, do you feel about that? No, I mean I think that those are just the people that just you know, they don't got a life, and they're just looking for something the to haters. say. Yeah, yeah, you know, they hate it. But, you know, actually, they're very motivated to me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I use them for motivation when I'm running, when I'm doing my sit-ups, when I'm in the ring sparring, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, um, I put those Instagram followers on, you know, sparring partner's face. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. I go in there and take it out on them. Hey, what's up, y'all? your boy Zab. We just wrapped up for the Q Show. We had a lot of fun, man. Check out the footage. It's dope. It's going down, man. We on the move. Let's go. Super Judah Train. Rolling. Please welcome Zab Judah to the queue. Mr. Judah, how you doing today? I'm doing excellent. I'm doing yeah, excellent. Don't, I'm, yeah, I know you, you, you <laughs> knocked somebody's head off. Where have you been the last four years? Oh, man, just been uh, traveling, uh, training. You know, okay. um, I had uh, four different fights that were scheduled to happen, and um, they um, fell out. You know, okay. um, I helped Mayweather train for, for um, Pacquiao. You okay. know, so I have been busy, just not home on the couch. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we, we know you. Yeah. <laughs> so what can we expect this Saturday? Who are you fighting this Saturday in training? Um, uh, Louis um, Magnarano. Okay. And, um, he's from Honduras. Okay. Um, he's the Honduras champion, and um, yeah, I'm coming back after a three and a half year layoff, and I feel great. You know what I mean? I mean, the motivation comes from in the gym. My preparation, going into the gym with the you know the the guys that they call the you know the future. Yeah. These guys are 25, 27, and I'm in there. I'm doing pretty good with it. You know, slipping is still you know what I'm saying it's still good. My hand my hand speed is still fast. Mm -hmm. My power is still tremendous, and I'm feeling great. But you know what? Let me let's be honest. I don't think that Father Tom is caught up with me. Floyd is 40. You know, Bernard Hawkins is 51. You know what I'm saying? The Klitschko's are older than me. Uh, um, it's it's, it's an, a numerous of great fighters that are way older than me. The elite greats today, I'm probably one of the youngest. You know why they call me old? Because at 18 years old, I turned professional. At 21, I was the champion of the world. <laughs> I got a great trainer. You could call him um, South Philly uh, Butter right there. You South know Philly Butter? Yeah, South Philly Butter, you know. And um, he go hard. I mean, he's my trainer right now, you know. And um, you know, most people know him as a uh, brother Fareed. Mm -hmm. We call him SPB. Right. South Philly Butter, you know. This is '96. They don't understand. Only they don't understand. Yo, they don't understand why you working so hard for this next chip. They got something to say about everything else. They don't understand why you working so hard. Show them what we do. Right about now, you're just letting people know you rep, you, you're about business. You're of looking course. like you're about business. 100%. 100%. I see, man. Um, yeah. yeah, of course, of course. I mean, <laughs> at 39 years old, I'm still known as a champion. You know what I mean? So people look at it as Zab. He's still here? You know, and, and I had such a, you know, a courageous amateur career. You know, I was 110 wins and five losses. You know what I mean? I mean, I at one time, they didn't think I could lose anything. You know what I mean? Up and down the East Coast. I won everything at 139 pounds. I got to see the return. Is it the return yeah. of Super Zab? Or well, is you it... know what? It's never a return because I never left. That's that. That's that. Right here like Zab Judah. We see you, champ. Oh, my. We saw you, sir. And he told us. He told us. We had to roll the fight time post back. Check the fight time Facebook page. Zab Judah told you last night the knockout was coming, and there you have it. Forget the commentary. Why talk about it? Oh, you yeah. when you do it. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs>